From hotspots to hidden gems, this is your guide to all things local the LA Unscripted way from the award winning Four Seasons Hotel, Westlake Village. <laughs> fun, food, and games, and you don't even need planes, trains, or a ton of time to get here. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon, and any season is the perfect time to four seasons. But as the SoCal sun heats up, Westlake's new outdoor oasis at the Cove is this season's place to be. What's truly amazing here is you won't get bored. If you're here for three or four days, you could go to a different space every day and be able to relax and enjoy and have fun. This Four Seasons has already been really well known in the landscape of hospitality, considered one of the very best in the Americas. Our spa is award-winning. It's uh, 40,000 square feet, 28 treatment rooms and suites. This was already a great place and we really wanted to make it greater. What were we missing? We were actually missing a space that would be able to welcome all. Having multi-generational families here, having couples where they're looking for a quick escape, looking for people just to have fun and enjoy themselves. The Cove is what really brought it all together. And it was really the wow factor. Well, first it starts off with this amazing Pool. It's a grand pool, hundreds of thousands of gallons of water in there, always kept at 84 degrees. And then we really have three coves. There's a cove that's actually with a lot of supple furniture and, and a, a space where you can relax and enjoy, centered by a, a very large jacuzzi. The second cove, which is just footsteps away from the pool, so if you want a little bit of pool and cove action, you have that there. And then there's another one, very secluded, tucked away in the back, that actually is, is perfect for a wedding party or an extended family to be able to enjoy and relax and have fun there too. You also have lots of activities for families and children. You have bocce ball, you also have lawn bowling. We have the Cove with uh, this amazing restaurant. Jesus Medina is our executive chef. His flavors are astounding and really super delicious. Well, this is our Cure Campachi, and like I said, we cure it in a nice marination of mezcal. We let mm -hmm. it cure for a couple minutes, and that's gonna help us to get some smokiness into the flavor. That is so good. I don't feel like I'm here in Los Angeles right now. My, the backdrop, the food. Our bar that was also custom made, made but also that it really touches architecturally, really fit this scene. This was no small undertaking. I mean, it, as it was put together, you know, we decided to make sure that the landscape was indicative of what is here in California. Vibrant colors and the rich blues and purples, but the palm trees that are enormous in size, 68 of them in total, all were craned in and put into the into the space. The place is lit with uh, tiki torches and also fire walls. Ah, <sighs> hammock heaven. I wish I could put a reserve sign right here. And while I'm getting cozy at the Cove, Jasmine Simpkins with another local must do. Today we're diving in to learn more about the Finnish Water Challenge. So of course, I had to check in with our favorite lifestyle expert, Allison Dayette, to learn some simple water saving tips. So Finnish teamed up with Flume Water to start their Finnish Water Challenge. Okay. All about spreading awareness of how with simple ways and simple actions you can save water and reduce it in your own home, which quite frankly also can save you a little money. It's a 60 day challenge and you sign up and when you participate, you're making a pledge, a commitment to skip the rinse, which ultimately reduces the water usage in your own home. And it runs for 60 days. We kicked it off with an event on the Santa Monica Pier to educate the public about water conservation. And while they were signing up for the Finnish Water Challenge, they got to play games, got themselves some cool swag, and I quizzed them on how well they knew about their own water usage at home. Let's see how well you do on this quiz. 
Which appliance in the home uses the least amount of water? The dishwasher. Yes! Which uses the most? The shower. Yes! Yay! Do you know how many gallons, if you have a leaky faucet in your house, how many gallons would you just let that teeny little drip go? 3,000 gallons. It's, it's very crazy. And it's so tiny, but it adds up. When you go to the kitchen and you're done, do you pre-wash your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher? I Some, rinse them. Some rinse them. Yes. Did you know that comes out to about 20 gallons of water per dishwashing load? Okay, so you asked what the flume is. Yes, okay. what's the flume? So it's actually the Flume Smart Home Water Monitor. And with the Flume Water, this is a monitor that you will put in your own home. And LAD WP residents here in LA, you can get it for just $24 from them. It's so simple. You do not need a plumber to install this yourself. And it will track your water usage to fixtures, appliances, even outdoor faucets, it will detect abnormal leaks. Okay. And it will even tell you by the hour how much water you're using. It's all about empowering you to save water within your own home, and that makes that little extra steps for water conservation for everybody. Just use your dishwasher. Use Finish Ultimate Dishwashing Detergent and skip the pre-rinse, and now you've taken a very small action of reducing your water usage. Well, thank you so much. I learned so much. I feel like I'm ready to conserve and save the world. <laughs> one, Small actions, big impact yes, now. one flume and yes. one dishwasher at a time. <laughs> Going off script isn't all fun and games. Just kidding, it is. And remember, health experts encourage taking me time. So doctor's orders back to my four season staycation. Now tossing the bocce ball to our Olivia De Bortoli. Being a teenager is so hard these days, but now parents are finding new ways to give their kids roots to stand on and wings to fly. Why is it so hard to be a teen? It's the most awkward time to be alive. Um, your body's changing and, um, and you're going through different schools. You're maybe going from elementary school to junior high, junior high school to high school, and now the technology, having so much information in the palm of your hands, not only with the information that you're getting from that technology, but the fact that your eyes are down. Teenagers haven't really learned the tools to interact with other kids. Rowie is teen mental health uh, outpatient programs for kids 12 to 17. Uh, we also have two programs for kids ages 8 to 12. So Rowie stands for Roots and Wings because that's what we need to give our kids as parents. Our goal as parents is to raise high-functioning, independent adults. I hear all the time that I, I just can't do it myself anymore. And I, and I just want to ask, like, if your child had diabetes, would you try to do it yourself? I mean, it doesn't make sense that you would ever try to fix your, your own child that has a medical diagnosis. So get help. Get a second opinion outside of your own. We went from struggling on how to communicate and how to express our feelings without big emotions to being able to, in our family session, figure out what it is he wanted to strive for and how we can best support him as a family. And that wouldn't have happened without Rowie. When you have a clinician really owning and operating the business, it makes a big difference in the quality of care that we provide. Uh, two, we're extremely focused in what we do. We don't work with kids that have substance abuse. We don't work with kids that have eating disorder. It's a pure mental health care practice. We were looking to, for it to be homey, cozy. We want everyone to walk in the door and feel comfortable. This is a safe place for not just our kids who come here, but our alumni who come back. There's the welcome sign. There's some ping pong table. Mm -hmm. This is the board. I love this board. This is our schedule. Um, every day the kids can come in and the, the structure is such an important thing for the kiddos. So having a weekly structure where they know which group they're coming into which day. What do you hope they take away? Hope. Like that's like the biggest thing. If they have some hope that there's things they can do that will make them feel better and they can use them again if they need to, right? Keep those tools in your pocket. And if, you know, if and when actually it happens again, you'll know what to do about it. They helped us develop that language 
that enables us over these, we've now been out of the program for a year and a half. It's enabled that year and a half of now when there's a problem, we all know how to talk to each other. The spirit of LA Unscripted is to inspire you to discover different neighborhoods. Have an LAU suggestion? DM us. I'm checking my Insta right now as this Four Seasons Westlake staycation is just getting started. Devin, welcome back to LA Unscripted. Today, we are having some serious Four Seasons fun at Westlake's new two-acre hotspot, The Cove. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, check me in here anytime. But right now, let's take a look at what's on the menu. The concept is Bahamut, right? So it's a nice fusion that we did with local Baja California uh, cuisine, where we go from uh, Baja California South all the way like to Santa Barbara. So we're trying just to highlight the local sea, uh, seafood. And then we are so lucky to have a wood fire oven inside that can give us that nice, you know, uh, mixture of the fusion of cuisine, doing some fun pizzas. Right here, what we have is our hummus. This is our lapne, which is made with yogurt. We have a little bit of cess and then citrus. Oh my gosh, it's sweet and citrusy. It's, a, it's yummy. Okay, I ate everything they put in front of me, but now our sponsors have ordered up something just for you. I'm gonna be making pineapple chicken with jasmine rice and broccolini. Pineapple steak tacos. I love the fact that I can taste my own food. Sunshine for All Cities was established by Dole uh, in 2020, so it's our fourth year in the program was established to help end hunger in the United States for children. So we take that very seriously at Dole, given that we're a food company and we have access to great nutrition like fruits and produce. So we created the program to create lasting impact in the world. So we not only provide our products to the children, um, but we also create lasting cooking programs that through generations they can pass on. Today we have our Sunshine for All Cities cook-off. We have brought three amazing young chefs from across our different Boys and Girls Club activities and uh, activations here to Westlake. They have beaten out all the competition and earned their spot to fly into our headquarters here in Westlake. They're gonna be showcasing their recipes and what they've learnt at their programs and cooking it up for our judges today. With the Sunshine for All Cities kids cooking classes, these kids are learning to cook with healthier ingredients and they're gonna go show me a thing or two. A little birdie told me that you're the sauce boss. What do you love the most about sauces? I like creating sauces. What are we going to make here today? Um, pineapple steak taco. Oh my gosh, sounds delicious. How are we going to make that? First, we're going to add beef, outside skirt steak, and then green onion, and peeled garlic, and red pepper, and Harshly. So you're hard at work. What are you going to be making today? Catfish and grits and a side of a drink called Miss Mosa. Okay, catfish and grits. I've never had catfish in my entire life. If you had to describe it, how would you describe the taste of catfish? A party in your mouth. A party in your mouth. You have to teach them while they're young because when they get older, they'll take these skills to their kids. This whole program has just been a, a blessing to the kids, so they really enjoy it. They want it every day. We've managed to kind of allow our kids to understand what a fruit or vegetable is, or understand what fresh produce is. I've always liked my fruits and vegetables, but now I'm cooking more, I eat them more. Fruits, I like, they are like different colors and they taste different. That my chef, he teaches me when I make a mistake. He tells me it's okay and he, yeah, we just go on with it. And at the end, the food is good. It's like I didn't even make a mistake. My favorite thing about cooking is making new things and trying new things. All right, coming up, more LA Unscripted tips for fun in the sun when our Four Seasons Westlake staycation continues.
We've been unveiling the hottest new hotspot, the Cove, and with a glistening grand pool plus three Whirlpool spas, the Four Seasons Westlake Village destination is H2O heaven. Now diving into another SoCal spot that is also LAU approved. Pottery, we are striving to create a space that is creative, therapeutic, a place where people can take some time from their daily life and just relax. Bitterroot Pottery has been in existence for about 15 years. To come and take a class, you can either book online through the website, or you can call or email us if you're trying to book like a big party event. It's great for birthdays, work events, team bonding, stuff like that. Downstairs is open to kids and adults, ages six and up. Upstairs is adults only, so it's 18 and up. We do have beginner classes every day. So you come in, you take a two hour class where we go through the process of making a bowl or a pot step by step. So this is our Baroque location, the fifth floor penthouse. The view is gorgeous. Wait till you see it. We're gonna head right around the corner. Oh my goodness! This actually used to be Liberace's old penthouse. He used to live here back in the 60s. This koi pond used to be a swimming pool actually, but now it's an entirely inclusive ecosystem. We have turtles right over here. Oh my gosh! Guys, he's sunbathing! Look at him! So this is our private two-person patio. We just recently opened this. This is where you can come have a really intimate date night. The most popular classes are right here because everybody wants to be right out here enjoying the view. Sometimes we have hummingbirds up in this um, pergola. Oh my gosh, and all of the decor. Is this some of Liberace's old decor and chandeliers? <laughs> we actually brought in the chandeliers. So the thing that is original is this fireplace from when he lived here. But we did try to decorate this space in the spirit of Liberace yeah. while still being grounded and creative. So when you come to a class, you're coming in, you're checking in, you're getting your apron, a name tag, take off any watches, jewelry, you don't want to get messy. From there, we have the instructor do a quick demonstration. So they're giving you a visual of what you're going to be doing, and then they pass out clay. Fun fact, I was introduced to ceramics when I was a little girl. My best friend's mother is an amazing artist, and so she turned the garage of their house into a kiln. Oh <laughs> wow. So, as you can imagine, mm -hmm. uh, when I took ceramics in high school, I got an A, thanks to oh. her. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Mom, Cleveland A. So I'm kind of returning to my bitter roots here because yeah. I haven't done it in years. You don't have to know anything prior to coming in. Our teachers are really patient. They'll guide you through it and really make sure that you are feeling comfortable. It looks fantastic. Thank you. Guys, I've got a bowl. They make their piece and then we handle all the rest of the post-production stuff, so they just have to choose what color they want. Uh, we'll do all the rest. We'll let them know when it's ready to pick up, and then they can come grab their finished creation. We here at LA Unscripted want you to be a hometown tourist. And while you tackle the town, our sponsors want you to know this. Another Jasmine on the job. Today I'm going to introduce you to one owner whose passion for keeping families safe and dry has kept him in business for 35 years. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. We are a company that exists to keep families safe and dry. Something about a big blue sky gets you feeling like you're on a hot air balloon. All right, Charles, I love that I'm in the warehouse because this business has grown over the 35 years, right? Yes, we started out in Torrance, actually. Mm -hmm. and, and we just had one model, give me the leak that no one can solve and I'll fix it for free. And it was those HOAs around Torrance, around South Bay. To all the HOAs out there, thank you for these 35 years and that we can be in a position to give away this roof. It's because of you and your trust. At Antis Roofing, we have twice the national retention rate at 
that feeling, how beautiful it is when one shingle overlaps another and all the water cascades off and keeps the family dry. That's a beautiful thing when you install a roof with every shingle in place. In fact, we have an expression in Anthos Roofing and it's so true in life that it's that every nail matters. Talk about the program that you guys have coming up. You guys are donating a roof to a nonprofit and why? Well, it's like 35 years is a big deal. It's like that's beyond a roof life cycle. A lot of times they go 30, 35 years we've been here. What can we do? And the thing that fulfills us is helping people in the community. Best thing that we can do with our particular skill set is to donate the roof to a nonprofit that's building bridges in the community. We've donated roofs for Boys and Girls Club, a lot of different Boys and Girls Clubs, Ronald McDonald Houses, a lot of Ronald McDonald Houses, a lot of um, Habitat for Humanity homes. We've done things in other uh, markets for veterans. We've donated roofs through Homemade. Charles, you've got me so jazzed. I want to help you guys find a nonprofit to give a roof to. So what do we need to do? I believe you do. Jasmine, let's just say, nominate now the cause that's near and dear to your heart. You ready? Let's say that. Okay. Nominate, nominate now the to the cause that's near and dear, dear to, to your heart. heart. Please, Please, let's do this. We're gonna do this together. Okay, let's see, what do we learn today? Staycations are good for the soul, SoCal has so much to offer, and the Cove at the Four Seasons Westlake Village is off the charts and close to home. Thank you guys so much for letting us go off script at this dreamy new outdoor oasis. Where will we be next? You never know. Good night, everyone. Mwah. <laughs>